Hey guys, Terry here. So here we are with the Beat Saber mod for the Oculus Quest already. It's all possible thanks to Nyan Blade that actually brought me on Twitter saying, hey, check it out. And uh, well, I surely did. So here we are in this video showing you how to install the mod. Well, it's super easy actually that a tutorial is kind of pointless, but well, this video is to make you aware and also to show you that there's nothing wrong with it and you can do it without worrying about anything. So let's install the mods on the Oculus Quest. Be aware though that you need a PC to do it. And also I have to say though that this is a must have thing to do because Beat Saber actually raised the price to $29.99 from $19.99, keeping the same amount of songs. So if you wanna play for more and get in the loop like all the other people are doing on the PC version, well, here you're served. So let's get to the computer right now and let's see how to do it. Okay, so here we are on the PC and the first thing we have to do is to go on this page over here. The link is gonna be in the description below with all the stuff that we need. That is actually one program, one XA, and to click on the release button. Over there, we're gonna find the Quest Song installer and we click on it and it's gonna download directly. So we show in folder, we open the folder and then we have just to extract it. I already did it, so it's over there already. Once it's extracted, well, you just have to click two times on the XA. From here on, it's pretty easy. What we have to do is create a developer account that we already did. If you follow the guide of how to silo apps on the Oculus Quest, it's not, it's gonna be up there. And then step two is of course to put your Quest in developer mode. Now, what we have to do is to install the Java locally. So you just have to click on there and it's gonna look like frozen. That's what they said and it actually does. So let's, in the meanwhile, while it's downloading, connect our quest and let's turn it on because mine was turned off. Okay, and here we are and it's complete. Actually, it really looks like it's not working at all. But yeah, uh, let's get to step number four. And uh, well, yeah, it's incomplete. So we have to install this as well. Pretty straightforward again, just install, complete for next to text. And step number five is actually to download our songs. At this point, so let's make sure that the quest is connected and then we click on the Beat Saver page and we download the, the song that we want. Actually, uh, what we have to do is on the download zip, do a right click and go on copy link address. At that point, we just put it in there and we download the song. You can enter as many as you want or the song that you want, uh, you can download it directly and then we can go on step number six, that is run installer. What you have to do is just to click on it. It's gonna open ADB and uh, well, it's gonna do everything by itself. So here we go. Press the key to continue. Let's press the key. And I guess it's done. So let's check it together in the Oculus Quest. Okay, so here we are on the quest. So what you have to do, of course, is to go on the Beat Saber and let's see how it's gonna show up. Let me uh, strap this in a little better. So we are in Beat Saber. Here we go. And then go on Solo. It's your first time. No, I don't want the tutorial. It's not the first time. And here, as you can see, with the little dog that is a little creepy, we have the custom songs. They're gonna appear all there, so you can just load it more and more. You click on it, and then I guess copyright strike is gonna arrive in just a second. And here you have it. And here you have it, guys. So as you saw, it's super easy to actually install everything and to just load songs after song. There's still not an installer directly in the IPK, so we still have to add the computer every time, but I think that it's great that you can just download all the songs that you want and just keep loading and loading them on the Oculus Quest. Maybe in the future it's gonna be something to like put all the songs in there directly, like a big chunk of songs. Well, we're gonna see in the future, but for now, thanks to Nylon Blade again for what he did because it's very easy to install everything and I think that it's gonna open 
the door so everybody for the community out there and uh, well yeah that's all guys check the oculus quest review that i posted yesterday because that's very interesting and took some time and uh, yeah i see you guys next video if you liked the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe for more vr tech of course and i see you soon thanks for watching ciao